Welcome back everyone to this new exciting tutorial series We're gonna teach you how to make your own car chase film animation in Blender. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna take a look at creating realistic environments. You're gonna learn modeling, matching the scale of cinematic environments based on real references. You're gonna learn realistic texturing and UV mapping, rigging and animating exciting vehicle movements. You're gonna learn camera animation for cinematic shots, setting up some realistic lighting and compositing, and also the production of the final short film animation. So by the way, this is the final result that you're gonna be able to achieve by the end of this course. So, I've divided this course into six sections. In section number one, we will build the 10th street bridge inspired by the Tom Cruise car chase movie. You will learn some awesome modeling tools that allows you to build realistic environments in Blender. And honestly, once you know these techniques, you can create pretty much anything your imagination comes up with. In section number two, we will take a look at creating all the textures we need in our scene. Starting by the asphalt, we will build it from scratch using procedural texturing. So this way gives us much more freedom and flexibility flexibility in creating any kind of asphalt texture we want. Then we're gonna learn how to bake these textures. So basically the process of baking is to convert this node setup into real textures that you can easily apply and use. So the reason why we're doing this is to boost the performance of Blender because with each node we got there is a bunch of calculations that need to be made. So that's gonna be affecting our render time. We're also gonna be creating some other materials like the rust, the metal and also we're gonna be creating some realistic animated ocean shader and applying it to our scene. It's gonna look pretty nice from the helicopter view. We will also take a look at UV mapping. So by the end of this section, you will have a great understanding on how these channels work. The color map, the roughness, the metallic and the normal map. You will also have great access to all these resources. For example, if you're not interested in learning procedural texture for now, I understand. You don't have to, you can just pick up the final big textures from the resources and you can easily assign them to the bridge. So basically the good thing about this course is that each section stands alone. Meaning if you're only interested at the moment in vehicle rigging and animation, you can just pick the files at the end of the previous section and simply dive into the new section. So in section number three, we'll take a look at setting up our vehicles for rigging. We're gonna get started by learning the four simple conditions for having an excellent car rig in Blender. So basically these rules can be applied to any other four wheels vehicle you have. So it's not just limited to the car example I'm providing. Next, we're gonna start learning some realistic vehicle movements, applying brakes and suspension for having maximum realistic movements, experimenting with vehicles on rough roads. It's gonna be us awesome. making our car avoid obstacle and so much other stuff and after that we're gonna make some exciting animations like the burnout acceleration start creating regular traffic and also animating the car pursuit which is the main animation in our project. In section number five, we'll take a look at animating our camera for taking cinematic shots, starting by the helicopter view. After that, we're gonna make the standby car position. And finally, the car pursuit from different angles. We got the front, the back, and also the side view. And in our last section, we're gonna take a look at the lighting and compositing. So basically our goal is to set up realistic lighting in our scene so we're gonna take care of that also gonna be including some compositing tweakings and finally we're gonna produce our short film car chase animation so i know for a fact that 3d design is sometimes confusing so if you're facing any challenge no matter how small it is please don't hesitate to ask for help so i took the promise to answer every question in details and following up with you until the issue you're facing is completely solved also i'm offering for free live assistance with zoom and any desk in case your problem is not solved at the first place so basically expect an average of 12 hours for your issue to be fixed you know based on the worldwide time also please keep in mind that you have a money back guarantee anytime you want no question asked in case this content doesn't work for you so i hope this introduction got you excited to jump into this course and build this project so if you do have any questions you feel free to shoot them down below so thanks for watching and i really hope to see you inside have a fantastic day